can you believe it? They've unrestricted Ponder and Vintage, which means that you can play four copies. And today we're doing exactly that in Doomsday. Let's go check it out. You heard me correctly in the intro. We're allowed to play four copies of Ponder and Vintage now, and the best deck for it is Doomsday. And if you look at some previous Doomsday lists, you'll see some cards that maybe don't seem up to snuff for Vintage Power level. I'm talking about Sleight of Hand, Consider, stuff like that. You're like, wow, there's really nothing better. Well, at the time, the best cantrip that you were allowed to play four of was Preordain. And well, now you can play four copies of Ponder. We're still playing two copies of Preordain. This would have been the Sleight of Hand or even consider slots that were once, you know, not ponders. But now we get to play four copies of Ponder, and that's really the major upgrade here, aside from Undercity Sewers. And while, let's say you're completely new to Vintage, what does Vintage Doomsday do? Well, you exile your deck except for five cards, and then you exile the rest. So you eventually draw those cards and play a Thassa's Oracle. It can win the game on turn one, but turn two is a lot more likely. That's what we're doing today. We're a Force of Will combo deck, which means we get a lot of interaction, including Force of Negation, a couple copies of Days, and a full playset set of Fluster Storms. I think that this might be the best combo deck at the moment due to all the Lavinia in the format. Let's see if I'm right today. And uh, without any further ado, let's go to match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to match number one. We are on the play. Our opponent reveals a Lurus of the Dream Den. We have Ponder in our opening hand. We also have Black Lotus, you know, the card that casts Doomsday, as well as the Street Wraith. I could also just find Thassa's Oracle and then win with the Demonic Consultation. That's another option we have here. We will lead off with Scalding Tarn. Let's go find a copy of Underground Sea. And ponder. Your empiric tutor's not bad. I think we're going to keep this. We'll pass the turn after that. Our opponent plays an underground seat into a mox jet. Mox pearl. Okay, they have five cards remaining. Demonic tutor. This seems like they're going to grow grab an ancestral recall here. And they do exactly that. I don't have the force of negation to punish them or force of will. And then they found black lotus. Oh no. Okay, so we're in a little bit of trouble at the moment. I'll play Polluted Delta, and then let's play Ponder. We found the Doomsday. That's good. And Mental Misstep. So I can cycle Street Wreath for Mental Misstep, if that's something we're interested in here. Don't think that's a card I want, though. Instead, I think we're going to try to cast Doomsday. And it seems like it just resolves here. Interesting. Okay, so I think we want the Black Lotus. We likely want Gush. Thassa's Oracle, so that's three. Gitaxian Probe and Force of Will. I need to think through this. So if I cycle the Street Wraith into Gush, there's four cards left. So let's say I draw Lotus Probe. Yeah, this one, like, I don't draw the Force of Will that I want to use to protect myself. So I guess instead of taking probe what if i put force of will in and then oracle like so double oracle so hypothetically i cycle gush that doesn't do it i guess i need the ancestral if i want to win right now with backup so we'll get rid of gush so i cycle into ancestral force of will oracle and then days so let's think through this then so i cycle and cast ancestral Draw a Forcible Oracle. So the bottom card I never actually get. So it might as well be another Oracle. Okay, I think that this is the pile. Oracle on the bottom. Oracle on the bottom. Then Black Lotus. Force of Will Ancestral. We will now cycle Street Wraith. Cast my own Ancestral Recall. Okay, play Black Lotus. And attempt a Thassa's Oracle. We did it. So our opponent turns out had nothing. Wow. 
I'll take it, though. They opened up on a broken vintage chart, but no interaction. Boarding for game number two, we're, they're likely on the Luris Saga deck, and if they're not, they're on Paradoxical Outcome. I think that Shieldred the Apocalypse is a pretty good cyborg juke in both of those matchups, so I think we're interested in bringing her in. I think we also want Nolrod. It hurts me to bring in Nolrod, trust me, but I think that it's likely pretty good in this matchup. We can also side out the Mock Sapphire. That is 62. I think I'm going to cut the Mystical Tutor. It's traditionally not very good against the Xerox style decks. And then we could probably cut one Preordain. And then if they are on Paradoxical Outcome, I think I might want another Force Negation. I could also bring in Cutdown in case they're on the Lurus and have like Bowmasters. Like, is having one Cutdown the worse over a Preordain? Yeah, let's try one Cutdown over the second Preordain and let's submit this. Game number two on the draw. We've opened up Dark Ritual Doomsday, but we have absolutely no mana. Unfortunately, I believe we have to mulligan. All right, so we have Doomsday. We have Nolrod. I think we keep this, and you're actually supposed to bottom the Brainstorm. Underground Sea into a Mox Ruby. And it looks like they're passing, maybe representing an Orcish Bowmasters here. We draw the land, so I'm not going to ponder. I'm just going to pass. They cycle a Lorien Revealed, okay. Picking up a Volcanic Island, interesting. Blue card would be one of my better draws here. And then they, on their end step, play a Dress Down. This would stop me potentially winning with a Thassa's Oracle. Speaking of Thassa's Oracle, there it is. We will play our copy of Nullrod. Nullrod resolves and we will pass the turn. On our end step, the Dress Down is sacrificed. And I don't have to worry about them combo killing me at this point, I believe. But now we're in a who can play the fair game better sort of situation. They cycle another Lorien Revealed after already playing an island. So we know that they have at least one dead card in their hand. A third land here would be tremendous. Another Doomsday. I'll attempt a Ponder. What about a Dark Ritual? Actually, I think I'm supposed to just take the Polluted Delta. And then draw Ponder next turn and cast Doomsday with backup. Or I guess I could just let the first Doomsday be countered because I do have two of them. They play land number four and they put Lurus to hand. They Lorien revealed for a Volcanic Island when their game plan was to put Lurus to hand. So they can't actually cast the Lurus because it does require two black mana or hybrid white. We'll grab another copy of Underground Sea. And let's play Doomsday. If this one gets countered, I'm just going to let it go. Well, I wasn't going to fight over on a Fluster Storm anyway, so that's fine. Our opponent with five cards in hand, we know one of which is Lurus of the Dream Den. They're going to play another End Step, Doom, or end step Dress Down. But that's fine. Like I'm just going to play Doomsday and pass the turn anyway. So this is not a card I'm overly concerned with. Let's try another Doomsday. They Force of Will exiling Paradoxical Outcome. I will Force of Will exiling Ponder. Doomsday. All right, so let's do Ataxian Probe, Ancestral, Fossil's Oracle number two, a land. All right, I had an issue selecting my cards, but it seems to be corrected now. So if I draw Probe for turn, cast it into Ancestral Recall, I'd have one card left in my deck. So if I do a Fluster, I can... This works. So we just put the Oracle on the bottom because I already have one in hand. So Oracle goes on the bottom. We'll put an Island above that. Fluster Storm above that. Ancestral Recall in the middle, and then get Taxian Probe. Pass the turn. On the end step, Dress Down is Sacrificed. There's a Saga. You've got it. They play a Demonic Tutor. I'm going to let this go. Oh no! Um, I guess I could force one copy. I, sh I guess I should have realized that they were on Breach with the red. Ah, uh, rookie mistake, Bryant. Rookie mistake. So they'll still get to mill me for three, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. So I would have preferred... I guess now I'm drawing a basic island, which is a little bit awkward. I would have rather have had the Fluster Storm on the bottom, but I didn't know I was going to get Brain Freezed. Play Oracle. Wow. Play terribly, still win anyway. We are now 1-0 in this Vintage League. 
Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two. I've wasted some time already. I was uh, off doing something else, but we're on the draw. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Our opponent has taken a mulligan and they lead off with a mock sapphire. Mishra's workshop. The one ring. Pretty good on a mulligan. Did not have the force. Unfortunate. We draw fluster storm. Not a bad one. We'll play the mox jet. And they appear to be F6, so maybe they're not jewel shops. We'll untap, take a draw. Misty. I'd like to cast Ponder here. Come on, Doomsday, pretty please. No, but I found another Ponder. That gives me a lot of looks. So we will fetch. Go find another copy of Underground Sea. And Ponder again. Force of Will and a bunch of Street Wraiths. I think I'm supposed to shuffle this. We found it. I believe that this is a win. Dark Ritual. Doomsday. Okay, so we want Black Lotus. We want Ancestral Recall. Actually, do we want Recall? I definitely need Thassa's Oracle, so let's put that in the pile. We want Gush. So I'm going to draw Gush, cast Gush into Black Lotus plus something else. I guess that something else could be a probe. And I could do two uh, two oracles. This works. Gives me a little bit of a backup as well. So the pair of Thassa's Oracle go on the bottom. And then we'll put Probe underneath. Black Lotus. Gush on top. Cycle Street Wraith. Ponder looking very good this game. Just giving us a lot of looks to find that Doomsday. I'll play the Black Lotus. We'll cast a Gitaxian. I guess we have to target myself. I didn't realize that. Whoopsie. And then Thassa's Oracle with Fluster Storm back up. Nice copy of the One Ring. All right, well, we win game number one of match two. Interesting. I think I like Force Negation against both Jewel Shops and just regular shops. So we'll bring those in. I think we're also interested in Norod. So the question is, do we think that this is a Fluster Storm matchup with that very fast uh, F6 from the opponent? I'm not sure, but I do think this is not a dig through time matchup, so we can probably side that out. I'm also interested in Shield Red. Board off the two mocks, and if we're bringing in Null Rod. Hmm. Part of me feels like they're on shops, like classic shops and not jewel shops. I don't have any rationale for you. It's kind of just a hunch. And if that's the case, let's board out the misstep, and I'll bring in the two mocks in again. And we'll try this. Yeah, I mean... We have a Force Plus Null Rod. That is what I'm here for. Keep Mishra's Workshop into Grim Monolith. Okay, so this might be Jewel Shops. Since he's, it, it's definitely Jewel Shops. Okay. So not having Fluster Storms is not ideal. We'll play the Underground Sea Cast Ponder. Well, that was quite good. I think I'm just going to jam turn one Null Rod. We'll play the Black Lotus. Add three blue. Play Nullrod. Pass the turn. They have Island. I'm going to play the Undercity Sewers, but I know that it's the Doomsday, so I'm going to keep that. Now they play an Urza Saga with four cards remaining in hand. We'll draw Doomsday. Select Underground Sea, and let's play the Doomsday. Why not? We should make our top card a blue card that we're okay with exiling to Street Wraith if need be. So we'll do a couple copies of Oracle. Cataxium Probe, Ancestral Recall. I don't know what this last card should be. Maybe another land? Could put in another Doomsday as a failsafe. It seems a little too cheeky for me, though. I guess I could put in a Street Wraith. So we would draw Probe for turn Ancestral. I guess this clears the whole deck if we want to. So we'll put the Oracles on the bottom. Street Wraith, Ancestral, Cataxium Probe on top. And now I'm going to pass the turn with double force up. The Urza Saga goes to the second chapter. 
They play an Ancient Tomb. They still have four cards in their hand. We will probe them. So they have a single copy of Force. I guess I don't even need this Ancestral. I could just keep it. We'll cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. And now we'll play Thassa's Oracle. Play Force of Will. I will Force of Will. And that's the match. Sweet. All right. So we are now 2-0. Three matches left to go. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we're on the draw. I've opened up a hand that is heavy on fluster storms and our opponent's name is tendrils for the win. So whatever you think, uh, I guess works here. I'm worried that this hand doesn't have a game plan, but might be okay if our opponent's actually on a combo deck. I really wish we were on the play. I'm going to begrudgingly keep this. Blue to Delta. Okay, it looks like they're passing. I'm a big fan of that. We draw Dark Ritual. I'm going to play Scalding Turn and pass the turn. On our end step, they find Undercity Sewers. Are we playing the Doomsday Mirror? They kept a card on top. Misty Rainforest. Okay. Dark Ritual. And there's a Doomsday. We're going to attempt to Fluster Storm this. If they have another Dark Ritual, they could also pay. Looks like their Doomsday is countered. The mirror match. We find Ponder. If they didn't fight there, I'm going to expect that another Fluster should get the job done. And I don't think I really want any of these, so I'm going to shuffle. Another Dark Ritual. Okay, we'll pass. They drew, and now they're passing back. We draw Black Lotus after I just shuffled it away with Ponder, so we're a little bit flooded. I think we'll keep the Preordain. Play out the Black Lotus because it helps us beat opposing copies of Fluster Storm, which is something we're interested in. And then we'll pass the turn. End step, they cast a Brainstorm. They find land number three, but it does not cast Doomsday. They do have a preordain to cast off of it, though. They put two cards on the bottom. So it's five cards versus five cards at the moment. We're about to draw our sixth card, which is a, well, preordain. We don't need two Dark Rituals, so that's a little disappointing here. But we do find a Doomsday. So we'll put the Mystical Tutor on the bottom, Doomsday on top. Let's play Dark Ritual. And Doomsday. The Force of, force of Negation, Exiling Force of Will. I'm going to Fluster Storm. Oh, I should have sacrificed the Black Lotus. I just messed up. Because now I can't Fluster Storm plus Dark Ritual to win uh, a Fluster Storm War. So this was a small misplay on my part. I should have used the Black Lotus. I'm going to add three blue now. So that way I can put the Lotus back in my pile. Doomsday. And now they're going to Fluster Storm. And this is where I messed up because I should be able to play Dark Ritual here and now I can't. And now we'll cast our Fluster Storm. And the key is to select all of their Fluster Storms one by one. They can pay for one and then I can pay for one. So as of right now, my Doomsday will still resolve. All right, Doomsday, do you have another Fluster? Their last two cards in hand are Forcible Pact of Negation. Okay. So they are completely hellbent. We will pass the turn. Pact of Negation is a wild choice. We're regretting putting that Mystical Tutor on the bottom at the moment. We draw a land. I think I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith. This is a spot where I want to try to get ahead if I can. Instead, we draw another land. We'll play the Pluto Delta and pass. I'd love a Brainstorm right now. Or Dig Through Time. They were going to tap mana and then decided to pass the turn instead. And now they're going to Ancestral Recall. That was an amazing draw step for them. We find Doomsday. I guess I should fetch here. And we'll play Doomsday. That resolves. We don't need mana anymore. So we'll do Gitaxian Probe. Ancestral Recall, Oracle, Oracle, and a Fluster Storm. 
I wonder if I could do something better than the last Oracle. Maybe Mental Misstep. So I'm going to draw Probe, Ancestral Recall. I think I end up with one card I can't cast. Or one card I can't find. So draw step, four cards, probe. No, that should clear the pile. I think this does it. I'm going to put the misstep on the bottom. Oracle above that. Bluster Storm, Ancestral, and then probe. Okay, pass the turn. They play land number four, which is the third black source if they have Doomsday in hand. And they're tapping for triple black. There it is. If they have any card that draws a card, they win the game here. They have selected their five cards. They're on a Chain of Vapor and a Main Deck Dress Down. We obviously saw the Pact of Negation earlier. That's a little bit different. I'm going to try to bluff them here by clicking on my Dark Ritual and then not paying costs to maybe get them to slow down a little bit. Let's see if it works. They did not shuffle. They're on Lotus Petal, so their list is very different. Okay, Ancestral puts them to one card. And they've got it. So they're just going to go Black Lotus, Thassa's Oracle with Flusterstorm back up. Yep. I mean, we were at parity. Our opponent drew Ancestral Recall. We did not. Instead, we drew two lands. So that's how game number one goes. And we get our first loss. Now we need to win both post-board games. We have two copies of Force and Negation to bring in. So let's bring in those. What cards do we not want here? I wonder if we can get by without the Moxin. And then there's like some argument if you want Shield Red or not. She tends to be pretty good in the mirror match. Maybe taking out a couple copies of Preordain. Let's try this. Game two, we're on the play. Well, we have uh, Ancestral Recall plus Days and a Time Lock. This hand seems phenomenal. Okay, so I think we want to hold back the Misty Rainforest. I'm going to pass and then in their upkeep, I'm going to Ancestral Recall. This avoids Force of Negation. We'll target ourselves. And it resolves. Good deal. They play first turn preordain. Force of Will's a good draw for us. I think I'm going to time walk here. And then we'll pass the turn back to ourselves. Ponder. So I mean I do just have a doomsday win with double backup. That's probably the move here. They'll see that I have one shield right in my deck. So is it better here to demonic tutor for Black Lotus? Because then I have an extra mana, but it's black. So does that even matter? Hmm. All right, let's just Doomsday. The Force of Will pitching Time Walk. I will cast Days on the Force of Will. Doomsday. We want Ancestral Recall. Black Lotus. We'll throw a Gitaxium Probe in there. We'll put in the other Oracle because I, I have plenty of room. Maybe another Days. So I'll Ponder into Ancestral, cast Ancestral into these. That seems like a plan to me. So Oracle on the bottom, Days above that. And then Lotus, Probe Ancestral. We'll play our land and ponder. Sweet, game number three. No changes on my side, I'm just going to resubmit. No interaction. I mean, this hand looks playable, but we can't interact with the opponent at all. I feel like that's just a little bit dangerous. I mean, I do have Mystical Tutor Street Wraith, but is that what I want to be doing? I have seven forces in our deck. I should just mulligan. This is very reasonable. We'll put one of the Thassa's Oracles on the bottom. Okay. We are both on six cards. They thought sees. I mean, our opponent's definitely on an interesting list. Thought sees Pact of Negation, Lotus Petal. They take the days. Okay. We find Dark Ritual. We'll, we'll play the Flooded Strand and pass. All right. They're just passing the turn back with no play on the second turn. Not even a land drop. I will grab Under City Sewers. We'll Surveil. And we find Flusterstorm. Of course I'd like to keep that. The Ancestral Recall. I don't want them knowing that my top card is Flusterstorm. So I'm going to use the Force of Will here. I do think there's some value to hidden information. I will now cycle the Street Wraith, and we will counter the Ancestral. Okay, so our opponent opened up on Thought Seize, Ancestral Recall, Force of Will. And uh, with a good Surveil, I mean, we were able to stay in this. So now we get a draw step here. Black Lotus. So we're flooded on mana now. I'll play the Black Lotus. 
and then we can pass the turn. They have two cards in hand, and we know they're not lands. So I feel like our opponent's uh, in an advantage here. They play Mock Sapphire, okay. Doesn't help cast Doomsday, so that's fine. We'll take a draw. Consultation. I've shuffled my deck so the bottom card is not fast as Oracle anymore. Even though we bottom one on a mulligan. I think I have to pass here. They play a ponder. Casting this demonic consultation is very dangerous because I only have one Thassa's Oracle left in the deck. I did side in a couple copies of Shieldred, the Apocalypse, so in theory I could have played Consultation for Shieldred. They did not shuffle on the ponder. They play a land. Okay. Take a draw. Alright, so we found the Doomsday. The problem is this Demonic Consultation does not help me here. And if our opponent has a win, I can't interact next turn. Let's take a look at our deck. Okay, so what could I Consultation for? I mean, Ponder is the card that wins the game here. But I'd have to not remove the Oracle. Am I brave enough to do that? Alright, I think if... I'm going to hate myself if we pass and they just win. I'm going to go into Demonic Consultation. And we'll say Ponder. We did not remove the Thassa's Oracle. Okay, so now, I mean, I guess I can play around Spell Pierce here with the Dark Ritual. I don't know if it's actually relevant or not. Doomsday? I lose to a Fluster Storm. They're going to fetch in response. They're going to Demonic Consultation. Okay. And they named Fluster Storm. Turns out they're playing Opposition Agent. Okay. So my Doomsday is going to be countered here. So once again, I feel like our opponent is in the driver's seat. Um, they're ahead on mana. They have one more than me. They're about to have an extra card in hand as well. I'll ponder. Well, I mean, this is a good ponder. I can't uh, play the shield red here, but I mean, it's not bad. I'm going to pass holding the underground seed. There's no point in playing it here. And if our opponent's on thought seize, they might try to play a thought seize. They might also respect Daze or another spell. And they just draw and pass. We'll play the Underground Sea and Doomsday. They have two cards. And they were Force of Will plus Blue card. Pact and Negation. So we're about to be at parity. I have a Shield Red on top of my deck, but I can't cast it. We'll draw this Shield Red and pass. No. They drew Dark Ritual Doomsday? No. Oh. Wow. Devastating. This hurts. I guess I need to draw like Ancestral Recall right now if I want to stand a chance here. Okay. Please deck. Let's see it. So I guess Shieldred buys us time here, especially if their top card is Ancestral. Is she good enough? So our opponent goes to five. Please let their top card be Ancestral Recall. So Shieldred puts them to one life. And they have two, if they, if they have the Oracle, they win. Were they smart enough to put Oracle as the third card down? Wow! Oh no, the Time Walk doesn't win them the game here. Did Shieldred get the job done? What a match. Holy moly. That was a nail biter. We lost our first game of the league, but we won the match. That was incredible. All right, there's still two more matches left to go. Hopefully they're just as good as this. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the play. Our opponent is a legacy mono red prison player, so I'm guessing they're likely on a prison strategy here in Vintage. They reveal a Luris of the Dream Den, so what do I know? All right, so we have turn one Dark Ritual Doomsday with Days Backup. We'll play the Misty and let's go fetching. Underground C, Dark Ritual, Doomsday. That resolved. Okay, so I think we want Ancestral Recall, Black Lotus. We definitely want at least one Thassa's Oracle. Gitaxian Probe clears our stack, so we probably want that. And then like a Fluster Storm. Okay, that's my five. Oracle on the bottom. Luster Storm above that. And then we'll do Black Lotus Ancestral Probe on top. Pass the turn. Mock Sapphire, okay. Gitaxian Probe. So they know my hand now. 
strip mine very good here because now I can't use my days and I also can't uh, Ancestral Recall on her turn. They had three white. So they just opened up on the nuts. Okay. <laughs> you got it. You wanted it more than me. All right. We'll go to game number two. That was brutal. All right. So they're on the blue white or maybe even Esper um, Luris control deck with Saga in it. We'll bring in some copies of Cutdown. I also like Shield Red in this matchup. So those are both great. I think we can board out the, the Mox in here. Probably board out a Mystical Tutor. I think one Force of Negation is probably okay. Let's try taking out one Preordain. When looking up deck lists, I actually just found my opponents as the most recent 5-0. So they're on Esper with Lavinia's and Bowmasters. They have a Caracas in their main deck. So that's mostly for Lavinia. But it also answers my Shield Reds. So I'm not even sure if I necessarily want the Shield Reds now. I think I'll just try this. Why not? Let's go for it. On the play. Okay, so this is a turn one Necro with Days Backup. We have to lose a lot of life, but it's an option here. Vampiric Tutor, we'll go get Black Lotus. Then we'll cycle the Street Wraith for the Black Lotus. Sacrifice the Black Lotus for Necropotence. You could play the Doomsday, but I think Necro's safer here. We'll Daze the Force of Negation. Necro. Okay, we're going to just pay for life here. Okay, pass the turn. Mox Emerald. And they're passing. I'm not going to cycle the Street Wraith. I'll play Underground Sea. And I'm going to draw two cards here. I think I might end up discarding the Street Wraith. Another Doomsday and a Fluster Storm. Actually, let's get rid of the Spare Doomsday. They play Brainstorm. I'm going to Fluster here. They have four cards remaining in hand. We'll play Underground Sea. Let's pay two more life. Actually, I'm going to pay three. I, I don't want to use this Street Wraith, and I'm getting pretty low on life here. We'll discard the Street Wraith. They cycle Lorien Revealed. They still have four cards in hand. You can expect an Orcish Bowmasters at this point. Play the Underground Sea. So if we think they have Bowmasters, I probably don't want to tap out for the Doomsday. I mean, I could. They have four in hand. Let's go for it. Spell Pierce. They will Force of Will. Exile Force of Negation. Doomsday. All right, so we want the Black Lotus. I don't think I need Ancestral Recall. I could be wrong on that one. We'll put two Oracles in there. So I can draw three of the cards. So is there a better way to do this? Fluster Storm somewhere in that pile. I guess maybe I should put the second Oracle in. It's just kind of free. And then Daze. So I draw three and then what? I need at least to be able to draw one more card here. So I think we need to put in a Street Wraith. No, I can't use Street Wraith. Because I'm going to go to three life. That doesn't work. So Fluster Storm doesn't work. Because I'm going to have to pay mana to Cantrip. So what if I don't Probe? And instead I... Put Ancestral Recall in the pile, and then Fluster. So I will gush into Ancestral Lotus, and then I'll draw these three. I believe that works. All right, and uh, Oracle on the bottom, Fluster Storm above that, and then we'll just stack these. Play Gush. Black Lotus, Ancestral. I forgot about the Fluster not working here. I guess it should have been a Force of Will. Didn't matter, but I could have played that a little bit better. Doomsday is a very difficult deck to play. And they saw that I have Shield Red in my deck, so I'm actually going to take that out now. We'll bring back in the Preordain and Force of Negation. I mean, I could also try the Null Rods. They, they're only on 11 artifacts. It's not that many. And I wouldn't be surprised if they sided out some number of them. I don't know. Maybe the Shield Reds are just good enough. All right. I changed my mind. I'm just going to resubmit here. Magic is a very difficult game. They reveal Luris, and we've opened up a reasonable hand. I'll keep this. Mox Jet. <laughs> and they've opened up a very good hand. Okay. They have Key. Do you have Vault? They have three cards. I'll pay two and look at their hand. Let's see if you have a Bowmasters. 
a mental mist at my probe. I'm going to allow that to happen. Ponder. The, this was an amazing find here. Holy moly. Okay, so... Yeah. We'll take the days... Cycle the Street Wraith now because they've shown us that they don't have the Bowmasters at the moment. And then we'll pass. They destroy my Underground Sea. And now they're passing. I don't want to play Ancestral when our opponent's not doing anything. So I think I'm going to Ponder again. And they've drawn Orcish Bowmasters. Okay. That obviously hurts when I have Ancestral in hand. This needs to be shuffled. Street Wraith, not a very good draw. Okay. We have to pass. They'll attack for three. I go to ten. So if I Ancestral, I go to seven. And their Orc becomes a five-five. So that's probably not a green move. I think I have to Preordain. Their Orc will get a little bit bigger. So... Shieldred is one of my few ways out of this. Okay. We'll pass. Nope. I just lost. Brutal. Yep, I think we're done for. I go to five. So what does a winning game look like from here? That's the first question we should ask ourselves. So I have exactly one Black Lotus in our deck that is fast acceleration from this spot. I have to Ancestral into exactly Dark Ritual plus Black Lotus. If I wait until next turn, I go to 1. Their creature will be a 6-6, six, six, but I have a 5-5... Five, five, or I'm sorry, a 4-5 a Death Touch that trades with their Orc, and then I go to 1 off the Bowmasters. Yeah, I don't think we have much of a choice here. Ancestral. We did not hit, so we lose the match. Bummer! Sometimes you get vintaged. We're now 3-1, but there's still one more match left to go. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final match, we're on the play. Yeah, this seems great. Let's find Dark Ritual. Keep. Our opponent has taken a mulligan to six. We'll lead off on Mock Sapphire and Preordain. I don't think I'm going to keep either of these. Vampire Tutor is not bad. So I could go Vampire Tutor Cycle. I mean, maybe that's... It's really aggressive. Maybe I just made a mistake by fetching. All right, I'm just going to pass here. Tropical Island. Is this Oath? On the end step, we will Vampire Tutor, and they Fluster Storm. Okay. Our Vampire Tutor is countered. Looking for Dark Ritual. Did we find a Doomsday? Let's cycle Street Wraith. Our match is for Doomsday. I apologize about my phone, but we did find Dark Ritual. Let's cast it. And Necro. That resolves. Okay, we're going to pay some number of life here. Four seems like a reasonable number for now. Let's go to the end step and uh, put those four cards to my hand. That was insane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really good four cards for us. Our opponent just passed. And now in our upkeep, they're going to Necro. I'm going to let that go. Also, I think they probably should have done that on their main phase, but what do I know? So now I get the draw card that I wasn't going to get to draw previously. And it's gosh. Oh, opponent. You are so dead. Doomsday. We'll do Black Lotus, Ancestral, Thassa's Oracle, Thassa's Oracle, because I can. And another Fluster Storm. Maybe there should... I have another Cantrip in hand. It just doesn't matter. Sometimes this deck is idiot-proof, and this is one of those times where I'm the dummy. The two Oracles go on the bottom, Fluster Storm, and then the last two. We'll float a blue mana and play Gush. Ancestral Recall targeting me. Land for turn. Play the Lotus. Sacrifice for blue and play an Oracle. Wee! We've taken game number one against Oath. Okay, against Oath of Druids combo, I, we likely want the additional copies of Force of Negation. And the two Mox can, can get sided out here. This is probably the worst Mox deck in all of Vintage, or well, close to it. I mean, Drudge exists, but for a deck with lands, it's probably the worst Moxen deck. 
think we'll keep this. Mox Emerald. Forbidden Orchard. Turn one Oath of Druids. Here we are. There it is. Okay. So I did not open on, my, on one of my seven forces and I am now punished. We find Doomsday. Underground Sea. Dark Ritual. Necropotence. So they had turn one Oath of Druids with Forcible Backup. Yeah, we're probably not winning this one. Attack. Both of Druids will likely hit Atroxa here. And it does. And there's a Narset in there. Plus a bunch of Force of Wills and Dress Downs. Okay, we can go to the next game. We've lost this one. Game three, we're on the play this time. I'm just going to resubmit. This is a hand. I mean, it's a lot of interaction. I think I'll keep. This is a spot where having the Undercity Sewers in the deck really makes a difference because I'm just going to play this Misty Rainforest on the first turn and then pass. And if we don't need to cast Flusterstorm, I'm able to go get that Undercity Sewers. Misty Rainforest and ship it over to the opponent. Mock Sapphire, okay. And there's the Forbidden Orchard. They give me some spirit. I will Force of Negation the... Both of Druids pitching Brainstorm. And I'm choosing to exile the Brainstorm here because my hand is so good that I don't actually want to put anything back. And they're going to Force of Will. They have one card remaining in their hand. This is a pretty good spot to Fluster Storm. I don't get the use of the Surveil Land, but that's okay. I mean, they opened up on Force of Will plus Oath of Druids on a mulligan to five. Like, on turn one, that's a very good five. We draw another Fluster Storm, okay. We'll attack for one and pass. Land number three. Brainstorm can eat a mental mist up here. And there's Doomsday. I believe we just won. Because I can force will anything our opponent does. Ancestral Recall. Our opponent just said GG. But let's see if they concede or not. Boss's Oracle. I guess I can put Gitaxian Probe in there somewhere. And... I guess two oracles doesn't make sense because I couldn't even play the second one. Uh, we'll put a land in there, I guess. Another underground sea. We'll put the land on the bottom, oracle above that, and then the rest of the cards. Attack for one. And they drew a land, so I believe that's going to be good enough for us to win this. We'll probe, cast ancestral, play the land, black lotus, and Thassa's oracle. Sweet. So we got the 4-1. We did lose against the Luris Saga deck that has both a Lavinia and Orcish Bowmasters in it. It does seem like Orcish Bowmasters is a real problem for this deck. We didn't see a lot of it in this league, but it's a card that obviously Doomsday cares about. So we lost the one matchup that we saw, but 4-Ponder felt very good. Um, I probably wouldn't change anything. I actually like this list quite a bit, but... I'm not really a vintage doomsday expert. I'm just some guy that makes videos. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. And as always, keep storming. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you're looking for more sweet combo content, we have tons of it over at theepicstorm.com where you can find matchup guides, play-by-play, -play, and storm puzzles featuring a monthly combo expert. You're going to love what we have over there.